we don't. Canada's federal party leaders might want to give serious thought to that question. A new Ipsos Reid poll suggesting that Canadians are far more interested in the election campaign south of the border than the one going on in their own backyard. Keith Baldry reports. They may show up on the newscasts a lot, but it seems Canadians continue to pay little attention to the machinations of our political leaders in the federal election campaign. So far, it's been a rather dull affair, punctuated mostly by gaffes by the parties. But it's a much different story south of the border, where the personal magnetism of Barack Obama and the quirky candidacy of hockey mom Sarah Palin has turned that close battle into a fascinating contest. And a new poll suggests British Columbians are finding things more exciting down there. An Ipsos Reid poll asked which election was more interesting, and the U.S. presidential fight was picked by 58%, while just 21% thought the Canadian race was more interesting. Much bigger personalities, bigger production values, and it's a real contrast to what they're uh, seeing from uh, the Canadian election and Canadian leaders. And it seems one candidate above all resonates with BC voters. You know who. Asked if they could vote in the U.S. election, which of the two main candidates they would choose, British Columbians picked Barack Obama in a landslide. 80% to just 20% for John McCain. Those characteristics of change, charisma, uh, hope and inspiration certainly resonate with British Columbians, just like they've resonated with a lot of Americans. The poll also presents painful evidence of what low views British Columbians have of the Canadian political leaders, especially when they're put alongside the U.S. candidates. When it comes to the positive attributes and the negative ones, Barack Obama once again comes out far ahead at 69% positives and just 12% negatives. Jack Layton is a distant second at a near even split of 39-35. The Green Party's Elizabeth May is still largely unknown at just 28 positive and 25 negative. And Stephen Harper is at 38 positive and 45% negative. But Republican Vice President hopeful Sarah Palin was at 22% positive and 47% negative, and her running mate John McCain posted similar numbers. But guess who was dead last? A long way back. That's right, Liberal leader Stéphane Dion, who is even more unpopular in B.C. than John McCain and Sarah Palin, who represent the party British Columbians really do detest.